You're watching the Weiss channel. Da, 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 da. Today I'm going to talk to you about percent increase and decrease, but this time it's going to be in word problems. For example, you are buying an item at a store for a price of $41 and there's a 5.7% tax added on top. What's the total amount paid at the register to the nearest cent? All right. So instead of doing 41 times 1 plus 41 times 0 0.057, which is 5.7%, let's put it all together. 41 times 1.057 gives you 43.337, which is $43.34. You're at a restaurant and the check comes to a total of $60. You leave a 15% tip. How much total money will you pay to the nearest cent? 60 times 1.15, right? Or $69. If you bought a stock last year for a price of $130 and it has risen 4.6% since then, how much is the stock worth now to the nearest cent? It's going to be 130 times 1.046, which is $135.98. All right, so those three were increase examples. Here's a decrease example. If you want to buy an item in a store that costs $37.50 and is on sale for 20% off, then how much would the item actually cost, cost you after the discount to the nearest cent? So that's 100% minus 20% or 1.00 minus 0 0.20, which is 0.80. So you're gonna take 37.50 times 0 0.80, and your answer is $30. In a certain town, there were 167 robberies last year. This year, the number of robberies has gone down 9%. How many robberies were there this year to the nearest whole number? So you take 1.00 minus 0 0.09, or 167 times 0 0.91, which is 151.97 to the nearest whole number, that's 152. If you bought a stock last year for a price of $52 and it's gone down 12.1% since then, how much is the stock worth down to the nearest cent? So you're gonna do one minus 0 0.121, which is 0 0.879. So 52 times 0 0.879 is 45.078, which rounds to $45.71. You've been watching the Weiss Channel. Da, 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 da.